Now, this particular technique is very useful for where the lower back joints, so that, that's hair line like that. And what it is, when the back muscles go tight for a long time, it causes the joints, what we call the facet joints, to lock because the muscles clench and seize up. And when there's not much movement for a few days, they get stuck. Now, you can stretch, sometimes you can release them. This particular technique helps to unlock those joints. So if I, if I do that, you can see the joint actually opening out. And, and it's rather like when, when you do that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Any mm -hmm. clicks? It's yeah. the separation of the joints that causes the clicking sound. So if you keep the bottom leg straight, and then that bent, that foot right behind there, and this hand on your hip, and if I pull this arm forward, that's it. Now you can hold on to your mm -hmm. elbow. Now if I reach around, now what I'm doing is I'm um, moving her pelvis towards me. And I'm, I'm feeling what's happening in the spine because I'm twisting the lower part of the spine but I'm stopping the top part from moving. So if I want to not click this part but focus the force right here where it's needed, I just hold back the upper ones. In fact, twisting hair locks the upper ones anyway. And then it's forward, forward, shoulder drops back a bit. Yeah, that's it. Now listen to that. And about three joints, three L4, 5, L5, S1, and um, L4, S3 joints clicked, and three that. Go on the other side, so balance. And head this way. Um, and you're on the left. Oh, um, sorry. Yeah, so then you do the other side. And that straight back bends, and a twist. Did it hurt? Uh -huh. Not on. Good. Now hold on to the elbow. So I come through here, and the idea of doing that is really to stop, because if I do that, she'll roll forward. And also, it's not very specific, and, and so you know, I could end up clicking here when I really want to click here. And here we go. Shoulder drops back, you okay? Yeah, I okay. It's uncomfortable. Yeah, okay. You okay? Better now? Yeah. I'm just going to twist you around a bit more. And then, if I roll you forward, here we go. So this thumb can hold on to the top ones, and that can guide which one I want to click. So. Now, the thing is, I'm not getting a locking here. Uh, it's sort of, the end feel is, yeah, yeah. So it, it won't click, it's bouncing back. There are two reasons for that. One could be because the muscles are holding tight, or partly because they're not relaxed. So I don't force it, I leave it and try again another time. The other reason could be that the joint itself is not stuck. It's just the muscles holding it. Now the difference is, if the joint is stuck, the end feel is more solid. And if it's soft end feel, it's muscular, muscle restriction. How's that? Yeah. yeah.